Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make a timer right here. So a countdown right here, Final Cut Pro, no plugins, nothing like that. We're just going to make a project. So Command N to make a new project. Just name it whatever you like. And then just press OK. Now remember, the video format can be whatever you guys like. You can be 1080, 4K, it doesn't really matter. Just press OK. Once you've done that, on the top left hand side of your screen, you're going to see these three options. Just tap on the last one here. From there, you're going to see titles and generators. Generators going to be your second option. So right here, I do want to mention that you do have something called counting. Maybe that's what you're looking for. So let me just show you how that looks like. I'm just going to drag it down here. And this is how the counting looks like. So if you want to, if you're looking for something like that, you can go ahead and use this. However, we're assuming you want a something like a timer. So on the top, so we chose generators, and then from the top on search, just type in time. You're going to see this one that pops up. This is your time code. Just drag it down here into your timeline. So here you go. Here it is. So let's just edit this really quick. So let's just select that. So just tap on it. And then on the top right hand corner, you're going to see various options. From here, you can change the font and all that. That's up to you guys. But Right now, what we have to change is this project. Most likely, you don't want that. Most likely, you don't want anything there. But if you do want to add some words there, you can change this project to whatever you like. You can even name it timer. Or you can name it countdown. In this case, that's what I'm going to name it. You can leave it empty as well. All right, so right now, I'm going to choose the font. It's really up to you. Whatever you guys like, go for it. I'm not going to go too much into this, the size. You probably want it to go bigger, but it's up to you again how big you guys want this. Again, I named this countdown. And then we have to mess around with the offset. Most likely you want this to be centered. So just go like this. I'm going to show you what that does. So if you mess around with this, you're just going to move the countdown. And I do want it centered somewhat. Same goes here. I want it centered. So I'm just going to move this. So, so again, I'm moving the X and the Y to do that. So the Y moves it up or down and the X just moves it right or left. Anyways, right now I have it centered. However, what you guys can do is just place it wherever you like. And I'm also going to show you how this would look like without the words countdown because we can always add those later on. So if you delete it, so from here, the label, remember it said project and I put countdown. I can just delete that and it's just going to be the numbers, which is most likely what most of you want. So in this case, I'm just going to leave it like that to change the font, how big I want it. Might as well make it 200 right away. Again, I'm going to mess around with the X value. I'm going to make it around there. So here's my countdown. So as you guys can see, you can have it going this way. Or you can have it reverse. And most likely, you don't want all those zeros there. We'll take care of those later. But first, I'm going to bring this up even more, 400%. I'm just going to move this. All right, so right now it's at 400%. Uh, you should move this in your timeline, depending how much you want your countdown to go from. But I'm just going to make it go from right around here. So right here would be 30 seconds. Of course, this can be a lot longer. You can make it a minute, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. It's all up to you. In this case, I'm going to make a 30 minute countdown. So I'm just going to adjust the numbers just so this is a little bit more centered, make it a little bit more down. And then what you don't want is this extra zero. Most of you would like to get rid of that. So let's just get down to that and reversing this countdown. Because right now, the way that it goes is like so. So all we have to do is just right click. So let me just zoom in. I'm going to right click and see this option where it says new compound clip. That's your, going to be your first option. Just tap on it. Then it's going to ask you this. And I'm actually going to put in just 30 minute timer, 30 minute, 30 minute timer. I'm going to put OK. Here we go. Now what I want to do is reverse this. So once you select this, see this option, this third option down here below, just click on it. You're going to scroll down just a little bit. You're going to see reverse clip. Click on reverse clip. And what this will do is this. Let me just show you. Here you go. So here's your countdown. That's for 30 minutes. Now you could do this 5 minutes, 10 minutes, almost any length really. And like I mentioned, I do want to get rid of that 0 because that just looks bad. So let's just click here. You're going to see this up here. This is your first option. So make sure that's selected, your first option, and you're going to crop. And what we want to crop is from the left. So see this here, crop left. We're just going to start moving this. Let me just zoom out. And as I crop this, you're going to see that zero disappearing plus that area as well. Now at this point, I could just recenter this because it's not 100%. 
So you can click on transform for example and just center this a little bit better. And right now my countdown will look like so. Again, this is a humongous countdown. You guys can do whatever you would like, but this is a 30 minute countdown. Now what I suggest doing is adding some text later on, but right now you're basically done with this. You can go on and just even export this. You can put a background, you can do anything you like. So command E would be to export. That's the fast way. Right now I have it set up as 4K. However, if you guys haven't exported before, so just make sure to have this selected. Then go to the top, you're gonna see file on the top left hand side. And from here, share. Then you guys can choose 1080, 4K, which, which is my default. That's why I press Command E. It's gonna take me directly to 4K or 1080 or anything else that you guys like. You can add a destination if that's not the option. None of these options make sense to you. Just go into add destination and just add in from compressor settings, for example, or anything from here. Once you choose whatever you like, just go into next. You're gonna see where to save this. Press save and then you're done. You can just export it, you have your timer. Anyways, that would be it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.